This is Yastariya's Pashkalavati and today is Charsadda. Being the center of Gandhara civilization, this city used to be the capital of the then government. Pashkalavati is a Prakrit word which is called Pikalautus in Greek and in the old manuscripts of Sanskrit it has been referred to as Pushkala. It means the city of lotus flowers. Today's Charsadda was once home to great and outstanding scholars. Panini belonged to a small town in Sawabi called Waluke Lahore. He is thought to be the first grammarian of the world. The modern-day Charsadda was once Panini's Estekas, Herodotus's Kaspatiros, and Hyuntsiang's Pushkalavati. A place which is irrigated by the sweet, clear, and clean rivers of Sawath, Dir, and Chitral, Charsadda is known for its greenery, fertility, and great men it has produced. Chronological books and its passages are witnesses to the caravans and armies passing through these routes. Pushkalawati, being the seat of knowledge and skill, was an important and distinguished city of the Gandhara civilization. This was the favorite city of the Buddhist prince Siddhartha, commonly known as Buddha. Buddhism spread with its message across India and China from the suburbs of Pushkalawati. The ancient Gandhara civilization is breathing even today in the form of sculpturing and domes and carvings on tombstones. Afterwards, history had a turn and Pushkalavati was linked to Peshawar. But Charsadda is known even today for its fertile land, both in terms of produce and people. Despite the centuries-old reputation for love, prosperity and knowledge and a glorious past, Charsadda has suffered deep injuries at the hands of the cruel British imperialists. In 1893, this province was annexed to Punjab after it was separated from Afghanistan. Soon after, in 1901, it was given a separate status as a province with the name Northwestern Frontier Province. The proud imperialists would claim an ever up sun in their kingdom those days, but they were unaware of the young man tall as a mountain in stature and intent, belonging to a small town at Manzai in Charsadda. The young man would be lost in his own world, undetted by the awe of the great empires and emperors. This distinguished young man was Khan Abdul Ghaffar Khan, the proud son of Bairam Khan of Khwazikhil, belonging to Mamadzai tribe of Uthmanzai. He preferred to be called Abdul Ghaffar and wrote it as such. However, the world came to know and revere him as Bacha Khan. His great sympathy with his people led him to step forward and struggle for the education and awareness of the people who had been kept ignorant with malicious designs. Bacha Khan got his guidance from the first words of the first revelation of the Messenger of God. The Holy Prophet, peace be upon him, which says, Read in the name of thy Lord, who created thee. 
He inaugurated the Azad Islamia School on 10th of April 1912, which was an embodied manifestation of his strong resolve to equip his people with education and learning. He knew well that the anti-education British imperialist policies had deeply rooted themselves in the minds of the elders of the locality. Others were passionately propagating slogans like Schoolgoers are earning money, but this could not dishearten Bacha Khan. Soon, this small candle lit to a series of others, and the trend of getting knowledge was spread to many other cities of the province. In the year 1913, the British took their first step towards education in the shape of Islamia Collegiate. Islamia College was incepted at the same time. But this was too small an effort keeping in mind the whole province. That is why Pashtuns remained much backwards in terms of education as compared to other nations. However, a hundred years after the educational revolution started by Bacha Khan in 1912, his soul blissfully visited Hashnagar, illumining eyes with a loving gleam and embellishing lips with smiles, where on the blessed day of the 3rd of July, 2012, the government of Khyber Pakhtunkhwa upgraded and renamed the Palusai campus of Abdul Wali Khan University as Bacha Khan University. Oh, Bajahan University is actually a dream of the Buddhist monks and the result of the struggle of Bajahan and his compatriots and his colleagues, the Khudai Khidmat Guards, who struggle for freedom, who struggle for uh, education, who struggle for liberty, who struggle for the transformation of society, uh, of the Pakhtun society of, in this region. This university, which is situated in Charsada, but with the, with the grace of Almighty Allah, the rays of knowledge will spread from it throughout Central Asia and throughout Southeast Asia. Thousands of students from Khyber Pakhtunkhwa and the adjacent Fata get together in the lap of this great alma mater and get education determined to walk shoulder to shoulder with the modern world. The creation of new universities in the province, like our university, the Bacha Khan University, inshallah, in the years to come, We'll work hard, we'll be coming up to the expectations of the nation. The university has numerous departments and well-equipped laboratories. The libraries are well-resourced with authentic and up-to-date books on all the subjects. The proud and worthy students are ready to pace along their brethren of the global village. So, Curricular and co-curricular activities go side by side. Knowledge, awareness and recreation reside here in close company. The university has a good transportation system. Bachachan University is successfully carrying on its passionate journey on the paths of education. Its smooth journey will continue ever and ever towards brighter tomorrows. His rushing steps are furiously fast, but mankind will never be fatigued. <laughs>
دامو د تاریخ او کلتور نخی نخانی لری دامو د تاریخ او کلتور نخی نخانی لری دا زمان د ذهن رڼا دا د زړه سکون هو پوهنتون پوهنتون پاچا خان پوهنتون 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 پاچا خان ہر زل میں رحمان دے در دے ہر بچے خوشحال دے دا دا ہر پیغن دا اسمت دا یا غشال دے دا زمون دا پارا دا تیرو لہروں مشال دے